All right, then, ladies and gentlemen, let us continue on to our little mission here. On to the next phase. Rikasani. You don't look well. You've been through a lot, so rest a while. You can go back to Suo later. Gemma and I have to go back to file our report, but there's no need for you and Shiden to rush. Don't push yourself, Kasane. Hey, if you're gonna rest, rest. I'll read a book or something. Why don't you go back to Suo with the others? It's my choice. Well, I'm going to rest then. Yeah, the same run army took a Naomi away, transforming to other throughout the chaotic choice to follow Karin. How long are you going to follow me around? Sh shut up! I'll go then if that's what you want. The Seiron garrison <laughs> of the National Defense Forces caused a stir when they deployed unauthorized near the abandoned subway to invest. Chairman Sumeragi criticized the move oh, as just skip it? outside the purview of civilian military operations and has ordered the Minister of Defense to find out the facts. From Mother? We heard oh, about Naomi's death. Oh. Why didn't you tell us? Our sweet little Naomi. We couldn't refuse her desire to be a scout, so we left our precious girl in your care. I guess I was wrong to hope. We were fools. I don't want you contacting us anymore. You've never contacted us anyway, so I'm sure that won't bother you. Huh. What? The red screens. Is that the Randall Industries logo? All right, that interesting. From Randall Industries. But there was something off about him. Where did he go? Are we gonna start teleporting or whatever? So? Seiron's preparations are nearly complete. Everyone deployed in Suo merely await your command. The destruction of the OSF from within is progressing nicely. Half of them will align with Ceyron. Then the rebellion will be carried out at Kunad. Wait. Did they see me? Kunad Gate. I knew you'd come. What's that supposed to mean? Just a sad, sorry fate. Who is that girl? Naomi's younger sister. I'll take care of her. Randall's adoptive daughter. Well, I must be going. You're planning a rebellion right in the middle of town? <laughs> I wonder how much you truly understand. What does that mean? What are you saying? You don't need to know yet. Come with me. Mysterious. And now this is all different. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Where am I? The GPS program isn't working. Is Sinet down? No. It seems this room is blocking the net. You're awake. Stay here and be quiet. I get it. Karin told you to watch me. That's why you wouldn't leave me alone. So you support the Seiron Rebellion as well? Seiron is my homeland. And Major General Karin appreciates me more than Major General Fubuki. Get out of my way. No. Then I'll just have to make you. Yeah, she gonna fight? Don't be silly. If you think you're good enough to fight me, hey, listen to me. <laughs> no, I told you to wait. Do you think you can beat me one on one? Oh, yeah. I do. Let's see who's better. Right here, right now. Out of my way. <laughs> One, two, three. One, two. One. Oh, come on. No mercy. Damn. The bag is clapped. Not yet. 
Nope. Uh, no, I ain't dying uh, here. Don't resist. Now. There we go. Damn it. No, I'm sorry, she didn't, but I'm at a uh, much higher level than you are. Thanks. It will be easy to take care of you. And then bang, squat. And then bop, squat. Oh, well, since I can just do long range. One, two. And then one more. And then one, two. There we go. One, two. One, two. Out of my way. <laughs> Easy, cheating. Come on, keep fighting me. I come from the future. Don't get cocky. No way. You're all bark and no bite. Kasane, we're here to rescue you. Mm, I thank you. Um, what's going on? Yeah. Shiden came to help me too. He got hurt. Don't worry <laughs> about it. Yep, totally. <laughs> I see. So will you help us, Shiden? Help you? What do you mean? My brother Karin Travers has taken his regiment and is trying to start a rebellion with Seiron. <sighs> I want to confirm. You know that my brother is in league with Seiron. Yes. Then, do you know where he went? He mentioned a place called Kunad. That's Kunad Highway. I'm going to go stop my brother. This is personal, mm. so I can't ask the OSF to help. I'm going too. I want answers from Karin. Right. I can't let Karin do this either. Shiden, you'll come with us, right? I... Come with us, Shiden. You'll get what you want that way. <sighs> All right. If Kasane's going, then so am I. As your commander, I can't let you two go alone. Okay, we'll split the platoon into two teams. Luca, Kasane, and myself will go first. Kyoka and Shiden, you support us. That's best. Right, Shiden? Whatever. So now this is how we end up going to Kunad. This is uh, the episode where me and uh, Yuito are gonna, are gonna make the little red string teleportation and we'll get to see the future Yuito. And this is the first time we're working together, Kasane. Please go easy on me. We heard about... Yeah, we saw that one. This is where the future begins. Where we're gonna end up trying to kill Yuito. And I wonder, it's called the Kunod Gate because it's at the Kunod Highway. <laughs> Alright. Man, we're gonna be fighting. How did you know I had been imprisoned? Car in here. I know of my brother's suspicious behavior. So I've been casually observing him. Which is why we were able to free you. But my brother likely suspected something like this. The Kunod Highway. I know he is working with Sabron. Why would my brother choose this place? There must be something he needs to take care of here. First, let's search for Karin. Now this is where the Kunan gate opens. I need it to be open. In this cherry blossom tree. It is growing so wild. Like nature is trying to take the land back from humanity. Hmm. Yes, it's very beautiful. You guys have a poetic way of looking at it. I'm just finding it hard to walk. Roots are in the way. Hey, why don't you tell Luca and the others that I helped Major Karin's uh, revolt? You think that was doing me a favor? I'm not interested in that. There's something I have to do. I just didn't have enough information to do it. Almost sounds like you could be on General Karin's side. Fine. Karin's, what are you saying? I mean, you're dead. I'll be paying you back. Stop. Move out of the Is way. The Kunat Highway? It used to be. There also used to be a city here that traded with Sumo. It's abandoned now. The cars can't even drive on it. That's why we're forced to walk. This is where we're gonna be fighting Karin. This is where we're gonna be seeing Yuito and everybody here. Yeah. Yuito? Captain Seto? What is Seto Platoon doing here? Kyoka, can you back us up? We need to withdraw. Right. It's ridiculous for us to fight our allies. Gamma, come with me. Tell me what's gotten into you. No. I. 
will draw off the OSF around us. I doubt they are willing to take on two Septentrions. Would you say the same <laughs> if it were me, Luca? General Karin. Luca. I knew you would be here. Leave my brother to me. Don't fool yourself. Come at me all together. I'll Man, take be you nice. Off. Can you handle it? We don't know how he'll attack. Karin can use multiple powers without SAS. The power only Karin Travers has. Brain here. Would have been better for you to remain quietly in your cage, Kasane. Stop joking. I'll decide what's best for me. Just what are you planning? I don't need to answer you. You're nothing but trouble, Karin. You should consider how it affects people around you. You're worried about Fubuki. You think it'd be better if I'm not around him. I didn't say anything about Fubuki. There's just no talking with you, is there? You're such a pain. I'll be using this. Some are close to their limit. I'll wipe you out. I'm using it. Oh, come on, dude. This guy's so annoying, man. Okay, whatever, man. Use it effectively. Can you handle it? Give up hope. He's going into his brain drive now. This is what real power looks like. I'll wipe you out. Nope. Back off, because <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be annoying. Help me, Luca. Dang. Some are close to their limits. Work hard. Alright, nice! I can actually do damage you. I'll be using this. Regroup. Taste my strength. The game hey. stopped. All good. We made it. I even challenged I him in his brain drive. So it's different this time. Understood. However. No! Everyone, get back! Yuito! Oh, that's just for one person, man. I am I. Very well, time to catch up with you, Ito now. Looks like I got blown away and separated from the group. Indeed, we did get separated. I'm in trouble if I don't find everyone else. I can't believe he's using a brain field. I thought the strength would be too much during an actual fight. So that's the real power of a Septentrion first class. The Septentrion's OP, especially Karin. National Defense Forces. If 
They stand in my way. I'll eliminate them. Oh. Monica scene. Is that you, Kasane? Oh, yeah. You okay? Y yes. Everyone, prepare to deploy. <laughs> that doesn't part of this, though. Find a new Himuka. Come on, we have to run. Oh, yeah, because I is every fallen for though. Turned into others? They're National Defense Forces, right? Hmm? Yeah, though the National Defense Forces around here are Seiron Garrison. Are they not Seiron? No, from what I saw, it looked like they were from Suo. So it was either the National Defense Forces or the new Himuka government that turned Naomi into another. Turned Naomi into another? What are you talking about? Captain Seto, let's go back to Karin. He knows what's going on. Sounds like there's a good reason. Okay, it'll be dangerous, but let's go back to Major General Karin. No, wait. It looks like Yuito and Nagi are nearby. Over there! We'll take the others down one by one and help them. Can you do it? Of course. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Makes me want to steal you from Kyoka Platoon. Let's go. Nice. You Unfortunately. Help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. He's not gonna be alive. Leave it to me. I gotta deal with this now. <laughs> Bang spot. Do you know Kasane? I'll explain later. Just do your best to survive. That seems to be the spot. And bang spot. You got this, Kasane. Oh. I'm not oh, Time for Nagi's turn against us. <laughs> well, what's happening? This is different. Uh, there it is again. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. 
Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No, I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi, what are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. Nagi! <sighs> now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! <sighs> Nagi! <sighs> Then you will die! Captain Sato! Nagi! Stop! <sighs> <sighs> We finally found you! Captain Sato! I won't die that easily, Nagi. After all, you're a part of my platoon. I'll be damned if they take you! What's wrong? <gasps> now we go to the future. What is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito... Are you alright, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where... are we? Hey, that's... the Sumeragi Crest. And that man over there is... Dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. Okay, Karin. Don't take 
Take your hands off of the red strings. They will twist through time and lead the way for you, Kasane. See you doing freaking saying yo. <laughs> mm. Phase four, what waits at the end? Congratulations, Kasane. Is the Kunad gate in the future? What's going on here? I don't get it. Yuito! She brought her Major with Major Joka! Ow. Kasane, what happened? First, we were attacked by Major General Karin, and then we were attacked by other OSF. Then there Wait, was a big earthquake. Here. What the hell? But it's strange. How did an earthquake make something like that? How did she try to support you guys? What is that? I don't know. But it looks like there's a gravitational anomaly around that thing. Damn. That must be why my head hurts so much. I felt a pain too. It wasn't like a normal headache. It was something different. So, none of you saw that? Then what could that have been? Maybe it was just that dream again. What are you talking about? I sometimes have these strange dreams. They're about these threads called red strings. I had one just now, but this time Yuito was there. No, Yuito may have been a dream as well. Why would we have the same dream as you? Maybe it's because the dream about the strings is more detailed than normal. And that's why you thought it was real and not a dream. Mm. Yes, but it couldn't have been. I'm not so sure. Maybe your dreams with Yuito aren't dreams and are actually experiences the two of you had. Wait. I'm sorry, Kasane, but right now we have more important things to worry about. Yeah, right. First off, if we stay here, there's a high possibility we'll get sucked into that thing. I also wonder about Suo. If Karin is serious, then it's safe to bet that something's probably going on there. I don't see Luka or Yuito either. They probably went back there as well. Yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Let's hurry back to Suo. Hmm, I wonder how Suo looks like. Oh, then damn. What? What is this? Is this... Suo? The direction, the distance we traveled, and the buildings all tell me we're at Suo. Our Habaki most likely isn't working, so the city functions must be down too. It makes sense that we can't reach Haruka. I hope she's alright. Hmm. This is one of our research centers. It's half destroyed. You mean a Spring Pharmaceuticals Research Center? Yep. And there's our logo. But I don't think we had a research center in Suo. Is this really Suo? Something's not right. Oh, this terminal is still running. I'll check it out. What's that? There's something scattered on the ground over there. These are... ampules. They look just like the ones I saw on the abandoned subway. General Karin. Major General Karin? Fabuki? So... cold. No. Is he dead? Major General Karin, 
Is this the rebellion you talked about? You say you want to change the new Himuka regime. But look, you've gone and destroyed the city! Karin, is Fubuki dead because of your rebellion? <sighs> Karin, answer me! Your brother's body. Here, take it. Kasane, so you're finally here. Uh, what? Why now? If you had managed to get here sooner, we could have found a way to cure the metamorphosis and turn them back to normal. Cure the metamorphosis? What do you mean? Can Naomi be saved? Save Naomi? What are you talking about? It can't be done here. This planet, no, oh, this whole dimension is at its end. It will be consumed by the Kunad Gate. <laughs> finally. I can finally save her. Doing it again? What happened? That was Major General Karin's power. Skill Class SS, Brain Eater. He can copy any power and make it his own. Tabuki, I'm sorry. I want to give you a proper burial, but there's something I have to take care of first. We're following him, right? Karin just used hypervelocity. He copied it from me on orders from High Command. I'm going to follow his trail. We can still catch him if we act now. It's not like you to be so dedicated. I won't let him go until he tells me why Fubuki had to die. <sighs> Let's go. I have so much I want to ask him. Let's hurry after Karin. His trail won't last long. So this is a different type of Karin, and now he's a Kyoka nose. <laughs> okay. Your power is psychokinesis, right, Kasane? Yes, it is. I just can't figure out why we need Kasane's power. I need your help. Oh, this guy's on deal with the jerk. Strings, my friend. Uh, so what the hell is you, Tom? The future you, so that is... Can you handle it? Yeah. Doesn't he also need Yuito's power? I won't be able to teleport or anything. Let's get going, let's find Karin and uh, possibly Yuito. Hey, wait, someone's there. Is he Psionics. Blind? They'll fight even while the world's ending around them. Yeah, you eat up, chill, bro. Who's that? I don't know, but it's a psionic. It looks like we have to fight back. I need your help. Yeah, chill, you eat up. Man, I let you win last time, but this time I ain't letting you win, brother. I'm using it. I'll do this, Sheena. Good luck. Alright, tense win. Hey, go. back off! Yeah, 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 I'm good. Thank you. I need your help. Oh, good. I'm borrowing this. I'm borrowing this. Yo, challenge fan. I'll do this, Sheena. That's it. I lost Karin's trail. You're giving up? 
and follow him if I could. It's just after that distraction, too much time has passed. <sighs> Can you handle it? Use this well. And I'm not done yet. Am I actually going to have to defeat him fully? Okay, this is going to take a while. I'm using it. I need your help. Okay, we got it. Wait! Who are you? Are you... Yuito? Huh? Impossible. That voice... Are you Kasane Randall? He's Yuito blind. Sumeragi? This old man? Wait. I know that sarcastic voice. Shiden Ritter? I see. You jump from the time of the Suo incident to this time. Hmm. I think I understand what's going on. Although I can hardly believe it myself. Yuito Sumeragi. It seems that you're blind. I'm... Arashi Spring. I know your voice. All right. So will you join the group? No. I still have powers, but as you can see, I retired from the OSF. Huh. So we should be in Suo in the year 2020, but that's not the case, correct? I knew you'd have a handle on this, Arashi. This is Suo in 2070. That's impossible. You're saying we came to the future? An earthquake? The end has begun. What do you mean? How does this happen to Suo in 50 years? I want to explain it all, but there's no time. This planet will be destroyed soon. I, Yuito Sumeragi, led the world to destruction. What? What did you do? Major General Karin said something similar. So you met him. Regardless, it's all my fault. This world is about to disappear. It will be swallowed by the pseudo-black hole called the Kunad Gate that you and I created in the past. We created it? Was it those red strings? Yes. Kasana, your power isn't psychokinesis. It's just the gravikinesis, the power to create dimensions, behaved like psychokinesis. You have the power to travel through time. That's what those dreams of red strings were about. The red strings? So the phenomenon that appeared at Kunod brought us here? What? Everyone is gone! Ah, <sighs> so... The time has come. I heard the only people who can exist beyond time and space are those who have the ability to travel through it. The ones you bring with you will eventually return to their former time. Like they did just now. How do you know all this? Who told you? Arahabaki told me. That's why I was waiting for you to jump to the future. Let's talk somewhere else. There's no escaping danger here, but we can at least go somewhere a little safer. Let's go to OSF headquarters. Nice. I need to talk to Yuito now. I'm gonna have to fight these guys. So this is the OSF headquarters down here. Yeah, completely destroyed. So you tell you couldn't freaking deal with those guys for me, man. You just wanted to test out my power. <laughs> Alright. Here we are. So I guess this is the guy that we saw in Yuito's gameplay. I was wondering who the guy with the umbrella was. So I know whatever. you're confused. Honestly, I am too. I was waiting for you to come from the past, but I still only half believed you actually would. So what happened? Fifty years ago, after the Seiron Rebellion, Nuhimuka became desperate to protect the integrity of the nation. They used me, 
Yuito Sumeragi, the hero who saved us all to distract the citizens. I didn't resist. My brother Kaito begged me to. I thought it was the only way. My father was assassinated and I was told you were the culprit. You had disappeared. I didn't know what to believe. I killed the chairman? I don't understand. I can't say for sure, as I wasn't there. But all the evidence pointed to you. I thought the fact that you disappeared meant you were guilty. The truth is that you jumped into the future. I wouldn't kill your father. Let's get back on topic. At the time you disappeared 50 years ago, the fighting between Seiron and Suo was heating up. I spent my days taking down others, and fighting psionics allied with Seiron. During all that, it began to expand. The Kunad Gate. The pseudo-black hole that you and I made. Our powers are the same. The same type of gravikinesis. So, it seems that I have the time travel power, the red strings as well. Because we had the same abilities, our powers resonated and created a gravitational anomaly. Most of it was you. I wasn't strong enough to travel through time. But what made the Kunat Gate expand? That gate is only supposed to appear at the moment of time travel and then disappear immediately. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, Every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Is there no way to destroy it? Only if I die. <sighs> if I die, the traces of my power maintaining the distortion will disappear. However, I didn't make that choice. I thought there must be some other way, and everyone persuaded me to look for one. No, that's not right. In the end, I couldn't kill myself. I was afraid to die. I struggled to find a way to live. And now the gate is so big it won't go away even if I do die. That's why this world is dying. Everything will be swallowed by the black hole. So please, kill me, Kasane. I want you to go 50 years into the past, before the Kunad Gate expands too large, and end the life of the false hero, Yuito Sumeragi. No, I could never. Naomi cares about you too much. Besides, how am I supposed to go back to the past? Red strings are triggered by swings in emotion. For example, when you are shaken by some type of emotional shock. But there's nothing to affect me right now. It's all right. I thought about that. All those years, all of it was for this moment. What is that? Other research has progressed in the last 50 years. We can now call them to us using sounds they like. We still can't make them go away, though. Others? I can't believe you do this! I'm sure I sound pretentious for assuming, but you're shocked now, aren't you? This isn't funny! Help me fight this other! I think I understand why you killed my father now. W what? Nuhimuka was researching how to change people into others. It was Nuhimuka that changed Naomi into another 50 years ago. <gasps> My father was the one directing that research. Even the hero Yuito Sumeragi knew that fact. And even knowing the cruelty of it, I eventually became chairman and I continued the research. You continued it? Many people ended up like Naomi. I continued the research on powers, to find a way other than my own death that would close the gate. 
Yuito Sumeragi was just a mirage. A false hero who killed the world. So... What are you doing? Why do you have that knife? Forgive me, Kasane. It's up to you now. <clears throat> Yuito continued. Interesting. In that world, Kasani just disappeared and never came back. Hmm. Where did that Kasani go? Nazrium. Kasane, there you are. Oh, I can't hear you, so don't bother replying. Arashi told me everything. Get out of there and head for the hideout. Kyoka and the others are already there. Hurry! Telepathic oh, communication from Haruka. Then this is the present? I made it back. Copy that. I'm headed to the hideout. Welcome back, Kasane. I'm glad you made it back to our time safely. Arashi had my head spinning with worry with all her wild theories. Yeah, sorry. I didn't have much information to go on, so I assume the worst. Now we can hear what Kasane experienced rather than just my assumptions. Did anything happen after we got dragged back to the present? Yuito asked me to kill the Yuito in our time. What? What do you mean? Oh, so you're saying that the fact that the world is ending in 2070 is Yuito's fault? That pseudo-black hole that appeared at Kunod. It's not a black hole, strictly speaking. It's something similar that was created by Kasane and Yuito's powers. It's probably created as a means to actively move through time. It was created by a human brain, so it should have a systematic mechanism to its creation. Since it's not disappearing, it's negatively affecting the world. So, you agreed to it? No. I came back before we reached a conclusion. Hmm. Maybe that was future Yuito's plan. The time travel power, the red strings, are affected by Kasane's strong emotions. When something shocking occurs, her emotions must be stored as a kind of energy. Since Kasane is unable to control her time travel power, it activates immediately. I was worried there was a danger she could become lost in time and unable to return to the present. However, that doesn't seem to be the case. There must be some kind of guide when Kasane makes a time jump. She must be attracted to time periods she has already experienced or is familiar with. And Kasane sees that guide as red strings. So, future Yuito assumed that by increasing Kasane's emotional level, she would return to this time. I don't care about the logic of it. Are you gonna kill that damn kid? I don't know. It's not an easy decision to make. Right. I'm sorry for yelling. Calm down, everyone. So much has happened to Kasane. She has a lot on her plate. Let's rest a bit and think about it later. It's much easier to change the future than the past. In the future that we glimpsed, Kasane never returned to the present and stayed in the future. Right, Arashi? Yeah, that future disappeared when Kasane came back. However, Yuito's existence still holds the key to the future of this world. Even though that future is gone, 
the possibility of a similar future still remains. Obviously, I think we should do whatever we can to prevent that. <laughs> People always say you're lazy, Arashi. But it's great that you think hard work is so noble. How rude. I just hate wasting time and I spare no effort to avoid it. So there's no reason for you to rush to a decision. Got it? All right. All right, and phase four. Nice, we did two phases in one episode. I want to talk to Kyoga. We all went into the future. I saw it with my own eyes, but I still can't believe it. So many ancient people dreamed of time travel. I guess humanity's wish has come true. That was a future I didn't want to see. I was gonna say, even if it killed you, you too. You seem pretty knowledgeable about time travel. Why is that? I was just curious, so I studied it. For example, it can be said that precognition is a power that deals with time. As long as that exists, it's very likely that time travel exists too. What an amazing power that would be. I mean, if I could control time, I could be as lazy as I wanted. <laughs> I was gonna say, even if he killed Yuita, there's still Karin, but if he can't get Yuita's power, then I guess the portal should go away, right? Even if Karin's alive? Time traveling power, what an incredible ability. Doesn't mean anything if you can't control it, though. What is the South Incident? What do you think, Suo Incident? Was that Yuita 50 years in the future mention? I guess referring to the incidents encompassed the revolt Karin started. Nothing has happened to Suo at this point in time. Imagine includes the appearance, could not gain. Didn't know anything about beyond that. That means there's a possibility that something could happen happen to uh, in the future i have a bad feeling about it sorry for the sudden message i want to give you something i got from naomi i'll be on the musubis come if you want okay i'll meet you if it's for them heading to musubis now you came sorry to call on you all of a sudden i don't mind first let me apologize to you Naomi was turned into an other because I wasn't strong enough to stop it from happening. I'm really sorry for the pain I've caused you. I don't blame you for that. Anyway, what did my sister give you? This. It's her handwriting. Why do you have a handwritten letter from my sister? She never told me you two were close. I don't think we were. We didn't fight together for too long, and we didn't exchange many words with each other either. However, Naomi didn't let that stop her from reaching out to me. Just read the letter. These are... recipes. I have a habit of taking on too much work, so I'd often eat very poorly. I thought I hid how tired I was pretty well. But one day, Naomi called me over and handed me this. She said she put together some simple and nutritious recipes, so I could take better care of myself when I was busy. She could have just messaged me, but she went through the trouble of writing it out. Can you believe that? That's just like her. I was grateful, but it also made me think. How could I neglect my own health to the point where even a rookie was worried? I'm sure Naomi was busy herself, having just joined the OSF. She was always like that. She'd always prioritize others over herself. So did the recipes help? Yes. They were easy, tasty, and nutritious. These recipes helped me take better care of myself. I didn't have much experience cooking, but she listed all the steps I needed very carefully. As I read her notes while I cooked, I began to notice how caring each word felt. My sister was the best. But why are you giving this to me if it's helped you? It's something she made for you. Handwritten letters are quite precious in this day and age. I thought it would be better if her sister had it. I memorized the recipes already. Besides, nobody is more hurt about Naomi than you. The person who needs it the most should have it. All right, I'll hold on to it then. I feel better now that I've given it to you. What do you mean? Are you saying you couldn't wait to get rid of my sister's letter? No, I didn't mean it like that. It's just that I'm reminded of what happened to Naomi every time I look at it. I've been with the OSF for a long time. I thought I was used to losing friends. And I still can't accept what happened to her. Whenever I remember, it makes me painfully aware of my own powerlessness. I feel like someone's squeezing my heart. <sighs> if only I'd looked after the platoon better. 
There's a chance I could have prevented what happened to her. I'm sorry for unloading on you like this. I know that nobody is more hurt about her than you are. It's fine. It's not like anything you tell me will make it worse. I see. But as long as you continue fighting, you'll eventually encounter something you won't be able to carry on your own. As someone who's been in the OSF for many years, maybe I can help. Just reach out whenever you need me. I don't think anything like that will happen, but I will on the off chance it does. Well, if we're done here, I'm going back. All right. He seemed like he really blamed himself for Naomi. I hate to see him waste my sister's kind gesture. <laughs> Handwritten memo. Can I ask you something? What do you usually do in your free time? I train, I guess. Me too. Guess you can't help me. Uh, my colleagues have been telling me I need to find a hobby. Don't like using my time for something unnecessary. Just forget I said anything. Rainfield car and use at the Kunan Highway is a real pain. Never want to experience anything like that ever again. Kusane, are you getting enough rest? Don't worry about me. I know how to take care of myself. Okay, but you're looking unusually disheveled today. I just thought you were so tired with everything that happened that you didn't even notice. Disheveled? Like your hair clip. It's kind of dirty. Huh? You're right. I need a clean cloth and detergent. Should be in the kitchen. <laughs> hey, you don't need to be so frantic. At least you're not lacking energy. Okay, there. It's all clean now. Hmm. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about how carefully you're handling it. And it was pretty unusual to see you lose your cool over a hair clip. Clean is Naomi's creation. This isn't just any hair clip. Naomi made it. We both have one. Oh yeah, she did wear something like that. She made them when I was younger to show that we were sisters. I can't believe I left it that dirty without noticing. Hmm. Are sentimental items really that important? Of course they are. Even though I'm sure it's just a hair clip to you. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to offend you. I just thought it was a little curious, that's all. I don't have any sentimental item with my brother Fubuki. Nothing? You must at least have a picture. No. Not even a digital image saved. It just takes up room and is a pain to maintain. Even a digital copy ends up being a waste of storage space. I'm just not the sentimental type, that's all. Is that what a relationship between a sister and brother is like? It feels really distant. Everyone's different. Your relationship seems strange to me. Really? Yeah. Okay, I think I'm going to take a break. You should learn from me and make it a point to rest well. Learn from you? I'll have to think that one over. What's there to think about? Come and ask me any time, I'd be happy to teach you. I guess there's a part of me that assumed all siblings were close like me and Naomi. There does seem to be something off about Arashi and Major General Fubuki's relationship. It's not the same as your hair clip. Been using and improving these ear masks for a long time. Can be attached to things too, because you like the way they look. More pragmatic than that. Super light ear masks have great noise reduction. High performance balance installed. This is straight off my neck. Masterpiece that combines the latest technologies. Great goal of uh, protecting my ears from sound. My neck and shoulders from stiffness. Eight to 50 years in the future. Totally different from the year you till now. He has such a stern, somber expression. Uh, Kyoka, some Kasani's out there. there's something I've been wondering ever since I joined the OSF. What is it? You seem very different during battles. I could be wrong, but it's almost like you're not the same person. Oh, I guess you never had a chance to watch me fight when you were a cadet. It seems like I completely change personalities when there's some sort of competition. A lot of people are like that. Are you talking about Kyoka's battle mode? It always surprises the rookies to see her suddenly go into beast mode. <laughs> I'm not that scary, am I? Not scary. Just a little surprising. Wanna know something interesting? She was always like that in the past. I know because Kyoka and I graduated the same year. Really? Yeah. You were famous among our class for being hard to approach. You started to change when you joined the OSF, getting friendlier every year. And now look how kind you've become. You only see the old traces of you during battle. I guess people change. 
Oh, look at the time. I've got an important nap to attend to. Later. <laughs> That's so strange. Do you have any idea why you changed? What was it that caused you to act differently? Why I changed? I'm not sure. Maybe because the old me only saw herself. Hmm. But after making so many friends in the OSF, I formed more connections with the people around me. Then I started wanting to cherish each of my relationships. That could be why I started looking after everyone. The old you is someone I'd gladly trust to have my back. But I'm happy I met this version. <laughs> I'm happy to hear you say that. I hope I'll be able to stay this way. What's wrong? What? Uh, oh, nothing. Hmm? That was really interesting hearing old stories about you. Really? Just ask me if there's anything else you want to know. Oh! Do you want me to tell you about one of my favorite fortune-telling sites? <laughs> no, that's okay. I'm not really interested in that. <laughs> you don't need to be so shy. We should go get our fortunes read together sometime. He doesn't want to turn into the dock. I really admire you, Kasane. You've only been in real combat for a short time, but you lead everyone so calmly. I think your leadership is what allows me to be so calm in a fight. Now you're just flattering me. I'm glad to help, though. If there's anything you want to ask me about, don't hesitate. Alright, level 3. Can you use that now? No worries. You might hate my meddling, but I can't stop myself from worrying about you. I'm not a fan of it, honestly, but it's not that bad when it's you. Hmm. Okay. You say you weren't really interested in fortune telling. Found a sign that will read your fortune. Putting in your name. Let me tell you what is said when I put your name. Now you'll have medium luck today. You will learn something unexpected about friends' past. Your bond will deepen. Signs of bad footing, so be careful not to fall. That's what it says. It's mostly right. Almost tripped back there, but that's just a coincidence, right? <laughs> I wonder. I can tell you about more good signs if you want. I'm good for now. Alright then, ladies and gentlemen, that is gonna be it for today's episode. I went back to that, uh, you know, we checked out the future and some what Kasani was up to when she disappeared over at the Kunad Gate area. And uh, yeah, she took everybody with her except for, you know, Yui Tonagi and Seto and all of them. So yeah, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.